Well, a district judge has shot down Florida's law requiring drug tests for welfare benefits. She said in her ruling, quote, there is no set of circumstances under which the warrantless, suspicionless drug testing at issue in this case could be constitutionally applied. So is this another win for Entitlement Nation? Joining us now is Florida State Representative Will Weatherford. He brings his take on the ruling in his state. Mr. Weatherford, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, so opponents of drug testing say, well, it's an it's, uh, unwarranted government intrusion into the personal life of citizens. What's your response to that? Well, here's my thought. We passed this bill two years ago. We did it because we felt like we should not be using taxpayer dollars to subsidize someone's lifestyle if they're taking drugs. And I believe the federal court uh, just a couple of days ago, by throwing this law out and saying it was unconstitutional, uh, what I believe they're saying is they're saying we have no right to their privacy, uh, but at the same time, an employer who employs someone has a right to drug test them before they hire them. I think is, there's an inconsistency there. To me, this is just common sense, and I'm very proud of our governor, Rick Scott, who's done a great job here in the state of Florida, who's going to be appealing that ruling. So I think the idea is that we give people money out of the Treasury, and we have no right to expect or ask anything in return. Just shut up and pay. That's the message to taxpayers, isn't it? I don't know what the message is from the judge. What I know is I think overwhelmingly people understand that if you're going to subsidize someone's lifestyle, there are people who are down and out. There are people who need help. I think we can all agree on that. There needs to be a safety net. But if you're a part of that safety net, you should not be on drugs. You should not be taking drugs and at the same time expect the state of Florida or the United States of America to subsidize and help your lifestyle. Uh, that is uh, something that we don't do here in America. Just for some perspective, I want to put up on the screen for our viewers food stamp enrollment numbers. 2008, when this president took office, about 28 million people on food stamps. Last year, 2013, that number had grown to 47 million, almost actually 48 million people on food stamps, and more than doubled uh, in price to the taxpayer. Why the huge jump in welfare dependency in this country? Well, I think we're talking about Obama's economy here. The president's economy, uh, frankly, uh, has gone through some very challenging times. And the reason for that is because they believe government is the solution. They believe that if you just create more entitlements for people, that somehow that will lift people up out of poverty. But what we know as, as conservatives, and frankly, as a Republican, what I know is that if you give someone an education, if you give someone and an, an, an teach them how to embrace the free enterprise system, that's what's going to lift them up out of poverty. That's what gets them off of, off of food stamps. That's what gets them off of Medicaid. It's not more entitlements that will solve our economic woes. It's more freedom and it's more education. Should there be any social stigma attached to receiving government benefits? No, I don't think there should be a social stigma attached. I, again, there are people in this country who are down and out. There are people in this country that are stuck in what I call generational poverty, and there are people that need a hand up. But at the same time, we have to have accountability for those folks. We have to give them an education. We have to show them how to, how to live and how to function in a free enterprise system. We have to protect and fight for free enterprise. And if we do that, we will see people rise up out of poverty. But just putting someone on a government program and hoping that that's going to lift them up out of their situation, that's not going to work. Mr. Weatherford, joining us from Florida this morning. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Coming up 